Born in Dunfermline, Scotland on the 25th of November 1835 to Margaret Morrison Carnegie and William Carnegie. From being a poor boy who allegedly got to the United States with $5 and little education to become one of the world's richest men in his generation, Andrew Carnegie definitely has some secrets that made him hugely successful. But wait, why are some people very successful in life when most other people fail? It must be because successful people know, think and do certain things which other people don't. Welcome to the Secrets of Success and don't forget to subscribe if you are new here. In this video, we bring to you Andrew Kennedy's 7 Secrets of Success. By secrets, we mean what he knows, thinks and does that makes him very successful. Try to watch to the end of this video because secret number 4 can change your life completely. Secret number 1. Let poverty inspire you Later in his life, Andrew Kennedy said this about his early years. I began to learn what poverty meant. It was burnt into my heart that my father had to beg for work. And then and there came the resolve that I will cure that when I got to be a man. Curing the family poverty disease was the drive that kept Andrew fighting for more in life and that drive made him win many war back then. You see, nothing has any meaning in life except the meaning we decide to give them. If you were born by poor parents, you can interpret that as a sign that God hates you or that you're unfortunate. You can as well decide to use that as motivation to overcome poverty. Carnegie chose to be inspired by his family's poverty. Many people make excuses about being born by poor parents or being immigrants. Young people, the only excuse you have is that you have no excuse. Let the poverty of your family be your motivation to create wealth. Secret number 2. Be willing to walk your way to the top Kanji took his first job at age 13, working 12 hours a day, 6 days a week and earning 20 cents a day as a bobbing boy in a cotton mill. He then moved over to working for another manufacturer, this time tending a boiler in the cellar and running a small steam engine. A job that proved highly stressful as he had to create enough steam for the workers above him but not so much that the engine will burst. He didn't tell his parents about his anxiety though, choosing to play the man and beer mine burdens. Instead, he remained optimistic and kept his eyes open for a chance to move ahead. In time, Kanji managed to get an interview to work as a messenger boy in a telegraph office, a great step up from his current position and he did all he could to seize the opportunity. One step at a time, Kanji walked his way up to become one of the most powerful men in the world. Most people in our world today are expecting quick fix. If you want to be truly wealthy in life, you must be willing to take chances. Start where you are with whatever you have while on the lookout for the next opportunity. Number 3. Never Stop Learning Later in life, Andrew Kanji said, there was scarcely a minute in which I could learn something or find out how much there was to learn and how little I knew. I felt that my foot was upon the ladder and that I was bound to climb. If you care to know the reason why most people are poor, we'll tell you in three simple words. Lack of curiosity. If you want to change your life in any way, you must be curious. You have to search for knowledge and never get to be satisfied with what you know about whatever you want to change in your life. Secret number 4. Create a Mastermind Alliance If you wish to know how I got my money, Kaneji said, I will answer your question by saying that we have a mastermind here in our business and that mind is made up of more than a score of men who constitute my personal staff of superintendents and managers and accountants, chemists and other necessary types. The fastest path to poverty is to try to create wealth all alone. Nobody has ever done it. Nobody can do it. If you truly want to be rich, you must master the art of collaborating and forming alliance with other people. You can't play any meaningful game alone. You can't fight any serious war alone. You can't build wealth as a lone ranger. Secret number 5. Have personal initiative where Kaneji was working at a certain time, no one but the superintendent was allowed to issue orders to the trains which ran on a single line of tracks. 
But one day, when Kanji arrived at work, he found that an accident was delaying numerous trains and traffic, and traffic had come to a standstill. He looked for Scott but couldn't find him anywhere. Kanji felt a pit of fear in his stomach but went ahead and sent out the orders himself, clearing up the snarl and getting the trains moving again. He nervously waited for Scott to arrive, afraid of how his boss would react. But Scott, just like his former boss in the telegraph office, didn't reprimand him and from that day on, he pretty much handed over order-giving duty to Kanji. Andrew Kanji understood that the man who sits and waits to be told what to do in critical situations will never get ahead. Taking the initiative was how Kanji started to work his way from telegraph messenger boy to telegraph operator. Ability to take initiative is very important to success in life. While most people were trained to complain about everything, people who become successful are people who stand up and take initiatives. If you are always waiting for someone else to lead you, you will remain a follower all your life. Stand up and lead the world around you. Stand up and challenge the status quo. Stand up and take proactive actions. Never wait for some outside force to trigger your actions. Nobody else is more important than you. Secret number 6. Avoid distractions. Concentrate your energies, your thoughts and your capital, Kanji said. The wise man puts all his eggs in one basket and watches the basket, he concluded. With so many distractions in our world today, it's easy to run after the next shining object but that's not the way to build wealth. Especially at the beginning, you must concentrate all your energy, strength and mind on a single venture till you become successful at it. Secret number 7. Profit from adversity in 1892, the homestead strike broke out at one of Kanji's steel mills. In this instant, workers at one of his plants went on strike because they had received a wage cut and soon fighting broke out between them and the hired guards from the Pinkerton Detective Agency, ultimately resulting in the death of several workers. This had a severe effect on the public's perception of Kanji because he had done nothing to attempt to stop the conflict. While he did approve what happened, the public seemed to think that he was satisfied with the outcome. Despite these negative views, Kanji was still able to grow his business over the next decade until he retired around the turn of the century. This accurately displays his ability to surmount adversity since he was able to retain and grow his consumer base over time even after being afflicted by controversy. Tough times never last but tough people do so be tough at overcoming adversities. Now, let's discuss. Which of the above lessons from Kanji's life makes more sense to you? What other thing do you learn from Andrew Kanji that are not mentioned in this video? Which other successful person would you like us to make a video about? Kindly drop your comment. If you love this video, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. And if you've not subscribed to our channel, subscribe now and turn on the notification because we'll help you discover secrets of success from the world's best books and great people. We love you.